Hello, welcome to the United Man, my name is Shane. Today we're going to be going over all the latest transfer news, everything that's been happening over the previous week. That includes a new name linked with Manchester United, which is Christian Eriksen. Well, all the updates in regards to Bruno Fernandes, Milinkovic Savic and a whole lot more. Now, before we get started, guys, just a reminder, have a look at the socials down there and don't forget to follow me on both Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so Milinkovic Savic. Now, the Italian press are pressing this one very hard. You see what I did there? Pressing, pressing hard. <laughs> anyway, the Italian press are claiming that Milinkovic Savic to United is very, very close. That much being said, it, they're saying that his agent, Matai Kesman, is meeting with Manchester United officials in London. That was reported yesterday. Now, I don't see that being the case, not to finalise the deal anyway. It was reported that he's on, he'll be on £6 million a year if he was to complete the deal to Manchester United. It's also been reported that there is an £80 million bid plus 10 million in add-ons accepted uh, by Lazio. If I'm completely honest, I don't see this deal happening as much as I'd like it to be the case. I don't see it happening unless Paul Pogba leaves Manchester United. Pogba being our one world-class outfield player, I don't want to see him go. And I know for a fact Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doesn't want to see him go and the club are pretty much going to do everything they can to keep him. Now, does that mean we miss out on Milinkovic Savic? I believe so. Unless, unless, I'd be surprised if he does, but unless they're looking to pair Milinkovic Savic next to Pogba, which would be brilliant, I'd love that, but I'd be surprised if they go out and splash the cash because, like I said, they're looking at about £80 million. Pounds. Well, that's what Lazio want anyway. I'd be surprised if this deal has been agreed. I believe this has a touch of what broke over the last couple of weeks in regards to Harry Maguire with... Bleach report um, to name one that released he did agree to fee with Leicester and he was and and, and the uh, a medical was imminent. Onto Christian Eriksen now a new name linked with Manchester United as a potential replacement for Paul Pogba. This one I very much doubt there's anything in this one. I think this is just media outlets adding one on one and one and getting five as far as I'm concerned on a very, very wide stretch in berth. Is Ericsson the reason that Manchester United are reportedly pulling out of the Bruno Fernandes deal? Again, like I said, it's a long stretch, it's a long haul, but could that be a possibility? Would Ericsson want to come to Manchester United? I'll leave that one for you guys in the comments. Let me know if you think he would like to come to Manchester United. For me, I'd be surprised if he did want to come to us. Being it, being it that Spurs are ahead of United at the moment, albeit that we beat them in the friendly the other day, but for me, I don't think Ericsson would leave Spurs to come to Manchester United. I believe he's, he'd be looking at the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, to go and win indefinitely, where he's guaranteed or pretty much guaranteed league titles or trophies. He's not going to get that if he comes to Manchester United. I believe he's 27, soon to be 28 this season. Now... I don't, he's not won anything at Spurs. Obviously at Ajax, I don't know what he won with Ajax beforehand, but he's not won anything at Spurs. I believe at this time in his career and his age, he'll be looking to win stuff. So for me, he'll be looking at going to a team that's as close to assured of winning, whether it be Champions League or league titles. So for me, the Ericsson deal really isn't a non... well, is a non-starter. When Liverpool played sports in Lisbon... After the game, you saw Jurgen Klopp walking off the pitch with his arm around Bruno Fernandes. I believe that was very intentional by Jurgen Klopp to try and stir up the United fans and try and get them to say, oh my word, look what Jurgen Klopp's doing. He's going to sign Bruno Fernandes. I believe that was very intentional. Now, Klopp went on to say that Bruno Fernandes to Manchester United is not nice. He went on to say that May United have some very good players and Bruno Fernandes being a good player would only make Manchester United stronger. 
Now, if that wasn't an endorsement, I don't know what is. So, get the deal done, United. Stop messing about. Now, obviously, Sky Sports have come out and said the deal for Bruno Fernandes to Manchester United is unlikely. Now, whether that's a Manchester United League 2 Sky Sports to play the bluff game, which I believe is a possibility, and, and Sky Sports mentioned as such, that they're just angling for the deal to be lowered and are saying, right, we're out of the deal now, and they're trying to get Sporting to panic. Much like what Sporting was sort of trying to do in Sports Witness last week by saying PSG, PSG's interest is heightened and a bid's imminent, trying to get May Knight to jump on board and try and hurry the deal up. I believe is there's a potential there's potential that Manchester United are doing the same thing. Getting a Sky Sports source to leak the fact that Manchester United are no longer interested and get Bruno Fernandes to react, go in, slam his hands on the table saying, what are you guys doing? I want to leave, I want to leave, I want to go. I don't know, that's a possibility. But let me know what you guys think on that one. Is that the case or I mean, I just a silly in the transfer market as they have been in past five, six years. Big H, Harry Maguire. Now, there's been reports, obviously, as you will all know, over the past couple of weeks, at different times, stating that Harry Maguire, well, there's been a fee agreed with Leicester for Harry Maguire, and a medical is basically on, on the cards. If that was to be the case, and there was something in it, we would have signed Harry Maguire already. Now, I believe it was a local Leicester newspaper that said at the time of that breaking that it's not the case and they haven't agreed a deal and there is no medical booked. That obviously proved to be true. For the Harry Maguire deal, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a question of when and not if. This time next week, hopefully, as a maximum or latest, I should say, or maybe close to the deadline, I don't know. But I believe that is just a question of when. With that being said, I'm still not confident in any of the other deals and Solskjaer saying that, you know, like a couple more players. One of them I'm sure was would be Harry Maguire. We need more than that to make an impact unless he feels, as I mentioned before, that Fred's going to make an impact or that the young lads, Tahith Chong, Angel Gomez, Mason Greenwood, are going to be able to lock down that right side or prefer provide a goal a regular goal scoring threat let me know what you guys think in the comments thanks a lot for watching don't forget to share subscribe and like and i'll see you in the next one take care